All right, g'day guys. It's the Clevo King here. Just mucking around with a little Clevo in the backyard here for a mate of mine. Quick little project me and my brother are slapping together on our other channel, the Brisbane Brothers. Make sure you check it out, guys. We've got some awesome tips on there. Some really good videos. Our last video we uploaded is how we fit a brand new Holly Carby and how we set it up before we start the car with some pro tips. Make sure you watch it. All right, guys. So uh, what we're doing today, nothing on this. Let's go. Over here, we got something. <laughs> Let's go. Let's have a look. Something different, guys. Big bro, they're coming. We've got the Holy Grail. We haven't got much time. <laughs> Let's be I honest. I this engine just to make the video. And I listed it before and I've been run off my feet today. I haven't had a chance to make the video before I sell it. So let's have a little chances are by the time you see this, it's actually gone already, guys. Just a quick short video for you today, guys. One of those technical ones. Make sure you watch my other videos to learn other tips like this. Got something interesting for you here. What we've got here today, guys, is a, a pillow block. Has anyone ever heard of that? It's a Ford Cleveland pillow block. Come and have a look at this. This engine here, guys, is unique and it's worth a premium compared to a run of the mill Cleveland like this. Now, I'll give you a quick bit of history. All of the Australian cast Clevelands are D2AE CA, which in America means Cobra Jet and usually would be four bolt mains. In Australia, it is not. It does not mean that you're few and far between. You'd be very lucky to find a four bolt main D2AE in Australia. If you do, chances are that is a US block and would potentially be a Cobra Jet if it has the 4V heads and the heavy harmonic balancer. So let's have a bit of a look at this, guys. This is a uh, 1981 black block, pillow block, that came out of a F truck. Now, if you have a bit of a look, the pilot the pilot on the bottom of the DZ shaft here, guys, will be a 12.5mm uh, instead of 129 which is the early blocks, or the blue blocks, as we refer to them in Australia. So a little bit of history on these blocks. Ford Racing in America got Australia to do a unique run of NASCAR blocks in 1979 for the Mustang Trans Am Camaro Racing and they're running a NASCAR style block and they wanted 300 blocks made they, the first variant they did was a run of the mill block just like this the only way you could pick it apart from a normal block just like this is with this little tiny stamp here on the side with the unique number they did 300 of them and uh, well just a little bit over 300 about 320 but the numbers aren't exact they know that there was 300 good ones sadly they rejected them as soon as they got to america because they didn't have four bolt mains so, but it wasn't specified in the paperwork so there was nothing wrong with those blocks but they came back to australia and they found their way in xd and xd falcons and f250 ambulance vehicles so there's a little bit of interesting trivia for you there guys and uh, what happened after that was they did the next version which was the same block but with a four bolt main cap and in that one instead of having the number on the side like this only they changed the part number over here on the block to be an XE which a lot of people argue about because they came out in the XE cars they reckon it might have been a prefix of that, but it's actually for experimental. And uh, the number is XE-192540. And that was the first, the first four bolt NASCAR block, which is what's referred to as the NASCAR block. But they're the ones that were no good. They put a thick pan rail in and they had a little bit of core shift. So a couple of those were deemed no good. They ended up bouncing back to, they did a third version the third version guys is the pillow block so what they did here to strengthen the block because all clevos are a thin wall casting technology and they're quite brittle and there's not a lot of metal in the blocks what they did was put these bulges on as big as they could go without interfering with any exhaust in the cars to increase the water jacket volume on the inside underneath this metal so they put these pillows on the one here which is beautifully defined and nice and clean this one just so happens to have the unique number on it too. Then one here, 
one here. Now, if you have a look, the casting number on this is a D2AE. If, so this one technically is not an NASCAR block, it's just a pillow block. If the prefix was XE, then it would be a NASCAR block. Uh, this is a pretty nice thing. And generally it would have the four bolt being an XE, but yeah, this is just two bolt. If you, Beautiful. if you haven't heard of the term pillow block guys, get out, get under your car and have a bit of a look, feel around with your finger. If you put your hand on the side of a normal block, like the one beside this, you will feel there is three divots there in between the cylinders, but the block's flat for the most part. So if you can run your finger along the top there, just under the head seam and it's flat, you've got a normal block and if you come and you have a look and you put your finger here and you run it along and you feel these reinforced ribs here next to the divots you're gonna know and it's excited, unmistakable guys. guys you'll feel that triangle edge there and you'll go hmm then get down have a bit of a look before you know it you'll be sitting on a block that's worth Yew. three times the money all right hope you've enjoyed that video we'll keep it short make sure you smash the like and subscribe we've got some cool ideas coming forward next week guys We've got some nice little short videos coming that are going to be quite educational and lay a lot of these uh, Cleveland myths to rest. Not just a pretty face guys, here's a little tip not a lot of people know. Have a look at this camshaft boss on the front of the engine here. Now this nice flat pad here, the camshaft hole is meant to be very centralised in this tunnel so you want to see the same amount of meat here as here and roughly the same on top as the bottom, like that. Have a look at this one over here, guys. This block here won't be that good. It's a bit thinner on this side, sorry, thinner on this side, thicker on this side. So this one, when they molded the block, the block had a little bit of core shift as it was cooling. Then when they got to the machining stage to machine the cam tunnel into the block, it's ended up off center. Now, I've heard people arguing, saying no, Ford did it as a revision. To make uh, make it stronger here because of like a lateral pressure off the timing chain and there's there's arguments for and against why it's offset but a really well-known engine builder that i know that i've grown up listening to that i uh, really respect has told me don't run any blocks with it offset on the cam tunnel you want it centered so out of these two blocks here just looking at them at the front you'd be picking this one for a high power now guys of course you want to do your sonic checking you want to do your x-ray you want to do your everything else that you can do but that's just one of many little tips that i'm going to share on this video a lot of you probably didn't even know what a pillow block was before watching this so get outside guys get under the car have a bit of a look you might surprise yourself you might have something that's worth a lot more than you know that you're sitting on it's always a great surprise for me when I come across one and I think it's just a run of the mill Clevo guys puts a little smile on the dial. You that's why I love the early Fords. Alright guys, I hear Cleveland's make power, eh? Smash that like and subscribe.